Hello YouTube, this is Chris again with Brexit Phenomenal Services. Uh, today's video is going to be another false teaching of the churches and of most people and they don't realize it. Um, I think I made a mention in my last video that I recorded yesterday and uploaded this morning um, that, we, that we have to earn the right to be children of God. That's biblical. The false teaching is we're all children of God and uh, that goes along with the false grace movement, the hyper grace movement rather, um, the false doctrine of uh, what saved always saved and so on and so on. But what does the word of God say? The word of God says something completely different on all those topics and then more and those are other videos and uh, that I've got a cup coming up and live streams that I've got coming up. Um, I'm going to, when God blesses me with a home, um, I'm going to try to get a setup to where you guys have mentioned several times in the past of how I should have my own radio show or do my own radio show, or, you know, like, like a radio show, like kind of like coast to coast AM, um, here on YouTube. And so whenever I, God blesses me with a home again, um, I'm going to try to get a, a good mic and, uh, my laptop and stuff and, uh, try to get a phone number, uh, like say through Google Hangouts and stuff where I can receive phone calls and, and stuff, but I want to get into that. I think that's something that would really do well, um, and you guys would be able to learn, learn a lot, and I would be able to learn um, on top of that. I, I'm not perfect. I don't have everything f figured out, excuse me. But, uh, and so there's people that's taught me things um, that I didn't know before. So I think it'd be a learning experience and a good experience for all of us, for everybody involved, and God would send people my way that needed to learn something and then he would send people my way for me to learn something so anyway back to this topic i'm trying to make this as short as possible i've got three verses one of jesus christ himself that states that you cannot that you can be a child of god or you can be a child of the devil see we're all god's creation um but you have to earn the right to be a child of God. And you're going to say, oh, that's against Scripture. No, it's not against Scripture. See, Jesus paid the price for us. He paid it. It doesn't mean that you have to accept it. That would also go against your free will. And that's, I'll explain all that in my other video uh, in live streams and about the once saved, always saved. Um, is 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 wrong and yeah so you 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 have to earn that right to be a child of God you have to earn that right to be a disciple um, and I can prove that biblically right now and I'm going to but before I get into the verses if you would like to see me start my own um, YouTube slash radio show slash podcast um, where I do live streams and you guys do comments and I have on guests and phone calls for you guys to call in and special guests to call in and, and different things like that. Let me know in that in the comment section below. And um, also let me know if you guys think that if when you first started watching my videos, especially my biblical ones, if you thought I was a pastor, I'm kind of curious on that. Um, I know a lot of people have told me they think I am and then when I tell them I'm not, they're shocked and tell me I should be one. And do you think I should be a pastor? Uh, just kind of curious on that. So, um, let's go ahead and get into these verses, shall we? Okay, so, it got weighed real heavy on my heart to make this video today and to get it up. So, by God's Holy Spirit. So, I'm going to get this up. All right, so the first verse, and these are just three verses of many, is Acts 13.10. You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? So, and this is New Testament, guys. So you can't say it's, oh, that's Torah teaching. That's old. Because I'm getting a lot of that stuff, too. And it's just ridiculous. Um, John 3.10. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child nor is he anyone who does not love his brother and sister. Um, 
you could take that two ways. You could take that as brother and sister, your blood family, um, which would also go with, you know, you got to forgive anybody. And we all know brothers and sisters like to get on their nerves. And it, it, it's, it's hard to forgive family. It really is. Um, you, you, you hold grudges to. It, it, I've noticed it's easier to forgive a friend or a stranger than it is to forgive your own blood. I, I've noticed that. And so, I mean, you could take that that way. Um, or you could take it a brother and sister in Christ as well. Um, then we have, this is the one is John or uh, Jesus himself speaking. This is in John 8, 42. And this one's a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up in my Bible. Uh, give me one second, guys. All right. And this is John 8, 42. And I'm going to show you guys here just so you could see it. Um, this particular Bible verse is called... Um, I don't know if you guys can see that there or not. Uh, children of, let's see here, okay, right there. Uh, children of the devil. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. It says, Jesus said to them, if you were my father, if you're, if God were your father, you would love me for I came from God. Now I am here. I have not came on my own, but but he sent me. So Jesus can't be God. As I stated in the other video of Jesus can't be God, stop calling him God. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you were unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desire. He is a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling you the truth, why do not you believe me? He belongs to God. He who belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you, belong, you do not belong to God. And as you saw there, that's in the red words, it says children of the devil. So like I said, that's three of many verses that a false doctrine, one of the many false doctrines of all false religions, even ones that call themselves Christians. Um, and that's another reason I want to do possibly do that uh, radio show um, of, you know, like I said, of. You know, me discussing these kind of topics and other kind of topics and uh, live because it's 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 live. I get you guys' feedback. You guys can ask questions. Um, phone calls. You guys can make phone calls to me. That you know, then it doesn't take so long to upload, and you know, more people will watch the whole thing all the way through if they're if it's during a live compared to a, a 40, 50 minute, hour long, two hour long, three hour long, whatever. Uh, uh, live stream uh, people or, or video rather people will be more inclined to watch a live stream that go, that long going on and um, if they know a scheduled live stream is coming up then they'll be more inclined to uh, watch it because I noticed YouTube is do even worse they're not a lot they're not telling you guys that I've got new videos up they're unsubscribing a lot of people from me uh, the people are having to come back and resubscribe back to me and tell me, hey, I was unsubscribed. Some of them told me they were, unsubs they were unsubscribed and they had, they had no idea I had a new video up and that's why my views are so low. I'm getting a lot of trolls and I know they're trolls. One, they don't have any subscribers and no videos or they'll, res you'll, they'll say something, you'll respond and they'll respond back with the same thing like they copied and pasted it or they won't respond at all. Um, and these people, the devil sending these things to me, trying to discredit what I'm telling you guys, because he wants to keep you guys in the dark. He wants to keep you guys hidden from the truth so he can, he can sift you. Remember Jesus prayed for the disciples. He prayed to God that, uh, that, that God protect them and not allow the devil to sift them like wheat. He also said a prayer for the people that weren't believers yet. Um, that we may not be sifted. And then as you see in that verse there, Jesus says, I'm telling you the truth. 
you refuse to listen because the, your father, the devil, has you blinded. That's why Jesus said over and over and over, if you have eyes that you see, if you have ears, let you hear. That is why he said, uh, many reasons, but that is one of the reasons he said that. He's saying that I'm going to work inside you and tell you things. My father is. My, my father's Holy Spirit is going to tell you things. I'm going to send people your way that I'm going to work through. My father's going to work through. My father's Holy Spirit is going to work through. And he's going, that we're going to tell you things. Things that are not known. Things that nobody can know. Things that are uh, against this world. Things that, uh, including the churches. That's why there's Bible verse. There's in the Book of Revelations. There's tons of Bible verses about woe to ch this church and woe to that church and woe to this church, because they're not holding fast to Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit and the teachings of the true gospel. Just because they call themselves a church doesn't make them a church. There's churches of Satan. It doesn't make them children of God and churches of God. Just because you have a name on a building does not make that a church and house of God. The Pharisees did that. Why do you think Jesus tipped the tables over and said, you've turned my father's house into a den of thieves and liars? These were pastors, modern day what we would call pastors, and it was supposed to be a church of God. And at one time it was. But now it's no longer a church of God because they've turned the church into a den of thieves and liars and blasphemers, and adulterers, and idlers, people that worship idols, teaching, teaching false doctrine that's not biblical, that, that's close enough to being biblical that it sounds correct, because the devil's a false light bringer, he mimics God and mimics Jesus as much as God allows him to. This is what I've, I've God has revealed to me. Um, See, God reveals things to us in ways we can understand it. And that's why he says speaking in, in, in the Bible, it says speaking in Holy Spirits is good. That's the language of God. But if you speaking in, if you speaking in, those holy, in the Holy Spirit and the people you're talking to do not understand you, then it's useless. If God isn't going to discern it for them or God isn't going to discern it for you to discern it to them, because not every time we speak in the Holy Spirit, we understand what's going on. And that's very clear in that verse. Um, or God isn't going to send somebody their way to discern it for them. Then you need to speak in their native language. And that's clear like in, say, um, uh, Gideon. You know, uh, the dream where his enemies had had a dream of the, the manna, the bread, rolling down the hill, going through all the camps, and or camp, and destroying it, leveling it out. And the guy didn't understand the dream. <clears throat> and he went to somebody that God used to interpret that dream to what it meant. And the meaning was, was God was handing them over to Gideon. But see, the guy didn't understand the dream, but God gave him the dream, showing him, warning him of what was to come. But if had God not discerned that to, to give that discernment to somebody and then guide that person that he gave that dream to, to that person to for God to discern it, the guy wouldn't have understood it. And that's one of many clear examples of what I'm trying to say. So it's not good. To, to, and that's why when I, when I talk and I, and I make the references that I make, I'm not trying to blast me or put down God or put down Jesus or put down God's word. A lot of times it's God's Holy Spirit is saying, use this word and use this, say this, say that, say it this way, say it that way, so that you will understand it. And, and, and sometimes it's my own uh, thinking where I, I, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'll say it this way because this is the way I would understand it. This is the way it would make sense to me. So please wake up, guys. Stop listening to pastors and churches and people in general, whether it be in person that you know, friends, family, loved ones, strangers, YouTube channels, whatever, including my own. 
if what I'm telling you doesn't match scripture, if it doesn't match what the word of God says, am I perfect? No. Am I going to fall? Do I fall? Yes. But I try not to. And that's what I'm going to bring that up again in the video or live stream or streams that I do about the uh, what saved always saved is a false lie doctrine of the devil. But I'm not perfect. Never claimed to be. I'm not perfect. I'm not, I, I don't have everything figured out. I don't know everything. And I appreciate everyone that does stay around. Even when I say or do something wrong. You guys stay around. I've had a lot of people badmouth me and tell me that they were leaving my channel and I was a liar and I was a devil and I was this and I was that and this and that and just all kinds of things and some of the people I know were real channels they weren't trolls and they left so if you're still here and you've been around my channel for a while and watching me on this walk um, and listening to what I have to say I appreciate you I thank you and I love you very much. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. I know you get a lot of YouTubers. They say, I love you guys. I love you guys. But they're, they're false words. They're idle words. They don't mean it. They're doing it trying to get under your, play with your emotions like the devil does. That's what the devil does. He plays with people's emotions. And I'm not saying every YouTuber that says they love you don't really love you. I'm saying there are ones out there that say they love you. And people have gotten to hear it so much that when a YouTuber says they love you, People are like, ah, oh, all the YouTubers say that. Or all oh, the YouTubers all say God bless. Or all oh, the YouTubers do. And so when somebody legitly does it and really means it, people don't understand that. And they, and they get numb to it. They get numb to the truth. They get numb to real true love, real true feelings. The truth in itself. Um, they get numb to it. And, and the, the, as spoke of in the Bible, their heart gets, their heart gets hard. That's why Jesus was talking about, when he was talking about divorce. He said, Moses permitted you that because you guys' hearts were getting hard. And the Bible also says God, when he saves you, brings you to salvation through his son Jesus, he turns your stone heart into flesh. Because if you got a stone heart, you lose all feeling and emotions and, and you, you don't care. You don't care about your people. You don't care about thing. Your the your family, your wife, your children, your your uh, gr your friends, your family. Uh, you know, is seeing somebody in need or whatever. You don't care because you're hardening your heart to this world. That's the devil hardening your hearts. So please don't harden your hearts, guys. Please keep your ears open. Please keep your eyes open. Your spiritual heart, your spiritual eyes, your spiritual ears. And listen to the truth. Always, always, no matter what topic it is you're looking at. And I've noticed over my many years of researching the government conspiracies, cover-ups, political, biblical, paranormal, uh, you name it. That everything always ties back to the Bible. Everything always ties back to God, Jesus, God's Holy Spirit, the devil, demons, and evil spirits. The angels, uh, everything. I've noticed that we have a spiritual body and we have a physical body. The devil wants you to keep hearing with your physical body, our ears, seeing with your physical eyes, speaking with your physical mouth, feeling with your physical body. He doesn't want you to listen, to see, to hear, to speak, to feel with your spiritual body. Because, in, because this physical body is of this world. Your spiritual body is not. And so that's what God speaks through. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Hopefully this helps and wakes you guys up more to, to more truths of the Bible. Please, 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 please. Do your research, guys. I'm doing the best I can. I'm only one man. I've got a lot of things on my plate. And I'm doing the best I can um, to get videos up. Uh, and I've got a lot of them i got to get up. And I want to get up. And there's other ones, you know, because, but because I've got so much on my plate, it's hard to get them up. But there's ones that God really weighs on my heart to get these up. And urgency to get these up. And so I make sure that I do my best to get those up. And God makes it an urgent uh, thing out of it and, and how I know something is of God 
Um, one, it matches scripture, like I've said in other videos. And that God really wants you to do something or say something is repetitiveness. It's always in, in, in multiple repetitiveness. That's why when Jesus would say, Father, Father, or um, God would say things uh, multiple times. I am the I am uh, is one of the many examples. Uh, you know, anytime you got that repetitiveness, kind of like when I came here to Texas, I had that repetitiveness of things of Texas. You know, it wasn't just one thing. Okay, well, maybe, possibly, you know, that, yeah, it's not that. But when it's repetitive over and over and over and over and over, and you're praying and asking God for signs in the name of Jesus Christ, his son, and you keep getting these repetitive answers, even when you don't ask for them, then that's something that God is really needing you to do urgently. Or it's something that God wants you to do or wants you to say. And so that's what I, you know, it, it, I, I get real hectic with all my stuff going on. I got going on and then, you know, but certain things that get popped up and it's just repetitive over and over and over and over. Like that last video I made about how the devil tried to kill me. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But that was repetitive over and over and over and over the last few days to make that video. And then the nail on the coffin pretty much was the video I mentioned in that video about the lady going through the same problems that I'm going through and she almost committed she almost committed suicide. And you know, God said you know, pretty much told her it, you know, you die, you're not you're pulled away from me. But she was going through the exact same almost identical situation that I am. And that's when I knew that was the nail in the coffin for me. God said that he, he was saying he wanted me to make that video for you guys. So anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. Use all the links in the About Me section. Keep praying for my, me and my wife and my, my marriage and my marriage restoration soon and my kids and uh, my finances and everything else that God weighs on your heart to pray for me. If you can do anything for me financially, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you can't do it, I understand, but at least do the prayers. If you guys want to see, if you think I, if God's, if you think I should be a pastor, let me know in the comment section below. If you think I should be an ordained pastor. Um, if you want me to do the radio station or, you know, slash podcast slash YouTube live stream thing that I was just talking about, let me know in the comment section below about that as well. Anyway, much love. God bless. Use all the links in the about me section and I'll see you guys on the next one.